Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the mission bells at San Juan Capistrano. I'm going to start way over here on the left and I'm going to take one finger and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. Come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, connect. I take one finger, put a dot, I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, come back to the dot, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Take one finger, put a dot. On this one I'm going to draw a curve line over, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect, put one finger, put a dot, I'm going to draw a curve line over, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. I come all the way back over here to the left and starting at the top I'm going to draw a curve line over, connect on top, and right here I'm going to draw a curve line, I mean a straight line out, connect. Come up to this one and draw a curve line up, over, connect, and on this side, on the left hand side, straight line out, in, connect. On this one I'm just going to draw a curve line over, connect, and on this one I'm just going to draw a curve line over and connect. Okay, I come back to the first one. Starting right here I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, curve line out on the right, come back to that first dot and draw another curve line out, straight line, connect. On the left hand side I draw a curve line out, come back, draw a curve line out, connect on the right. Come right here in the center and draw a skinny rectangle. Okay? Right here I'm going to draw another curve line out, connect on the left, another curve line out, connect on the right. I come back to the center Right here on the left I draw a curve line down and out on the left, come back to the center, curve line down and out on the right. Come back to the left, draw a slightly curved line oval, uh, over, sorry, and connect. Come back underneath, draw that line again and connect. And right here in the middle draw me a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Okay. Now come over to the second one, same thing. I'm going to put a dot right about there. I'm going to put a curve line up, curve line over, curve line out. Come back to the first dot, curve line out, straight line, connect. Come towards the left hand side, we're going to draw a curve line out, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, curve line out, connect on the right. In the center we're going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, skinny rectangle, and now we're going to draw curve line out, connect on the left, curve line out, connect on the right. Come back to the center, we're going to draw slightly curve line down, curve line over, come back on the right hand side, slightly curve line out, in, connect. We're going to draw that line again going across curve line, wavy line down in the middle. Okay. Now come over to this. Right here I'm just going to draw a straight line, straight line across. 
inside that skinny rectangle. Little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Come right inside this middle section and we're going to go one, two, three little loops. Starting on the left, I draw a curve line down and out. Come on the right, curve line down and out. Come back to the left, curve line over, connect. Put a little curve line, connect, and a little cur slightly curved line if you can fit it down below. Now I come over to this one and I draw a straight line across, straight line across, curve line on the left, curve line on the right. One, two, three little curved loops. On the left hand side, I draw a curve line down and out. Right hand side, curve line down and out. Come back to the left, connect the two, curve line. Right here, add another little curve line. And down here, a little teeny tiny curve line if you can fit it. Okay? Alright. Now, we're going to come back to the top. And we're going to start right almost to the very tippy top. And we're going to draw a curve line down up, keep going, and then a straight line all the way to the edge of your paper. And now we're going to come down to the bottom and we're just going to draw some straight lines in between each one of these. Keep going. Little one right here and here. Straight line to the edge and off the page. You can add, maybe add another one right there. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, there's a lot of double coloring going on, but the first thing I want to do, these are windows, and this is the sky. So that you can see what you're drawing, let's color in around everything so that you know what is window, what is sky, what is bell and what is mission wall so that's the first one this is the second these are all blue I'm using just regular blue if you have a fancy fancier blue you want to use go for it blue green would be fine that's all these windows now on this window this section is sky jump down this section is sky all the way and these little loops are sky so these should should also be blue all the way this is so that you can see what is sky what is window what is bell and what is mission okay so that's the first thing i would do is color that all in next my bells are probably made out of bronze and they're kind of a green tone so i'm going to do my bells green because that's kind of like a copper like the statue of liberty green metal so this is all bell so i'm going to give that a coat of green then i want to do my fasteners and the wood this section should be brown and this section should be brown and this should all be brown. This is what the bell is being held on. Now we're going to double color the bells. We're going to double color the fixtures. We're going to double color the walls. But that first color I want to make sure is brown on the wooden parts and that's what this section is. So this should all be brown. Okay? And then we'll talk about triple color, double color, all of that in just a minute. But I want to get that first coat of brown down on the wooden sections. Okay. Now, when you color, you always want to do light to dark. So even though we that have this as brown, I'm going to come in and put a little bit of gray over a little bit of the brown. Just to make it look like it's part of the mission wall. So I'm going to do that gray. But this whole section, I'm just going to go up and down so that this part is gray with the wall. 
In this section up here, this is also mission, so I'm going to put a couple of lines of gray, whoops, on that. And this down here is also mission wall. So I'm going to put a little bit of gray down here too. That's the lightest color I've got. Okay? Then over that, lightly, I'm going to add a little bit of the brown. Now, when I say lightly, you don't color the whole thing. You're just putting some lines of color so it doesn't all look like it's all one shade of gray. It's got a little lights and darks and some shadows. So I'm going to put a little bit of gray. This is double coloring. Okay. But my last color that I'm going to use is black. And you always use black last because you can't make it light. First thing I'm going to do is color in the inside parts of my bells. On these bells. So that will be black. And then lightly I'm going to put some lines of black on my bell. Now, when you color, your colors are going to be much stronger. But I'm doing a little accent of black on my bells just to give them a little bit more depth and a little bit of black on the wood. Try and stay away from your sky. Now that I've done that, now I can come back in because it is a mission and it is really old. And I'm just going to add a little bit of black on my walls. Not a lot, just a little bit. And this is also when you can do different kinds of lines. These are just straight lines, but if I wanted to give it a little bit more texture, I can do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Not too much. See, I can kind of go crazy with black. Got to keep it careful. Okay, that kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my San Juan Tapestrano Mission Colonnade. And as you can see, I have really concentrated on double coloring and being careful about adding too much black. Sometimes it takes me a couple of times to do a, um, a drawing and color before I get something that I think is okay. Okay, bye-bye.